What's up YouTube? In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use a compression tester to perform a compression test on your engine and help you troubleshoot some rough running or some smoke coming out of your exhaust different things like that. There's a lot of things that can be caused by low compression but um, show you guys just the basics of how to use a compression gauge and what it does. Alright the basics of a compression tester are going to be your compression gauge with a quick connect and you'll have a relief valve here which you'll use to relieve the pressure after you're done testing it most of them will go up to about 300 um, average compression in my engine it's going to be around the 150 mark uh, psi you'll also get a hose here with an adapter on the end one end will be a quick connect that'll actually plug in to your gauge there through that port and then the other end will be an adapter for your spark plug most spark plugs are this thread uh, and it'll actually give you an extension here. You see, you'll thread this off. And it'll be a shorter. If your spark plugs are easy to get to, you can use this. And but mine are a little bit recessed, so I'm going to use the adapter. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll put this in first, and use I think it's an 11 16th socket to tighten this down onto my engine, and then I'll thread this on afterwards because it's kind of hard to get this very tight when you're working way down in there. And uh, if you don't get it tight, you won't get an accurate reading because your compression will actually bleed out through the leak and it'll give you a false low compression signal or even no compression. So we're going to go ahead and get it hooked up. Alright, we're over here in the engine. Disregard the valve cover missing. I'm doing some work on my engine. But what I'm going to do, and I've already done it, you'll remove one of your spark plugs. Uh, pull your spark plug wire off and remove the spark plug from your engine and that'll leave you, you can see the threads are the same down here as the compression tester. Once the spark plug is out, you'll take your tester and you'll thread it into the spark plug hole. Once that's as tight as you can get it by hand, you'll actually take your 11 16 wrench or whatever size uh, fits your compression testing tool and you'll put it in here and you'll actually tighten it down with the socket by hand because if you put a wrench on it I just think it's too tight you want to snug it up as tight as you can by hand so that you get a good seal around that o-ring but you don't need to torque it down now that we've now that we've got that done we'll go ahead and take our compression gauge and we'll hook it to the quick connect on the hose it's kinda of hard to do with one hand so bear with me alright let's snap that down if we can let go of the camera here for just a second. Take it just like a quick connect airline, you'll connect it just like that. So now that that's connected, we'll take it over here and we will thread the inlet into what's our, what you just threaded into your spark plug hole. So we'll go ahead and start putting that on. All right, now that that's connected, uh, move your gauge out of the way so it's not going to hit anything and so it's easily visible. And this is the point where you want to have somebody else or a trick I like to use is I'll get my cell phone and I'll put the video camera on and record it. And while I'm turning the engine over, the phone will record the reading on the gauge so I can play it back for myself and see what the pressure was. That saves you from having two people. Or you can just get a buddy to crank the car over. You want to crank it over probably i say probably eight or ten times so it can build up adequate pressure. If you just bump it once, it's really not going to do anything. You want to turn it over, you know, a few times. And you'll see here in a second when I do it. Alright, so you can see there we had about 150 PSI of air pressure, pretty good. Um, for that cylinder, that's not the entire engine. What you want to do is take out each individual spark plug and test each cylinder to verify that you have good compression all the way across the board. Bad compression will tell you if you have a bad valve seat or piston rings that have uh, that are gapped incorrectly or one's blown out. It'll tell you a lot of things about your engine, but that right there is how you do a compression test. Now what we'll do now, you can see um, I went ahead and relieved the pressure relief valve that bleeds the pressure off makes it a lot easier to take everything off Now that you're done with that you can disconnect the gauge remove it from your cylinder go ahead and reinstall your spark plug and spark plug wire <laughs> 